we have what we call evapotranspiration or crop water use, which is evaporation and transpiration. Uh, the uh, part we really need of that is transpiration. That's the life process where the plant picks up the uh, moisture and any nutrient ha excuse me, any nutrient has to be in water to be picked up by the plant. But the thing we can really cut down and eliminate is the evaporation part. And in bare ground on corn, 35%, uh, as much as 35% of the crop water use will be lost to evaporation. Crop residue is actually capturing moisture. The other thing, good crop residue will help us trap snow in the winter time, and that can add to our water supply. If you have good crop residue out there, it uh, reduces your crop water use which is really an important thing. And uh, you can produce more with uh, the same acres and so forth, and that's more sustainable. With no-till crop production, uh, good residue management and so forth, we're improving soil quality, infiltration rates, really taking care of that soil, and we're greatly reducing wind and water erosion. We're reducing the evaporation we're probably saving 20% of the crop water use there. Add all those things together and we can really do some great things for both the irrigator and the dryland farmer.